Hey, Nadia. Take advantage. Things go. Hey Nadia, how are you? How are you feeling after the full moon eclipse? I'm just gonna give it a few minutes, see if some more people come in, and then I'm gonna get started. Same. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to make it. Long day just getting off, huh? <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna be talking about oh one to nine thirty, that's the long midday shift. Um, I'm going to be talking tonight about the full moon eclipse wrap up and what that represents. I'm going to be talking about the sun and Mercury being in Cancer. I'll be talking about Mars and Aries and the moon in Pisces void, of course. I'm also going to be briefly talking about twin flames and soulmates. Um, and I'm going to be talking about the chariot and the devil card. Um, and the astrological time that we're in and what those cards um, represent. So that is going to be our agenda. I'm about to go ahead and jump right on into it. Um, so we will start off with the chariot. This is the chariot card from my, um, I think it's called the Melanated Tarot deck, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but the chariot card represents the zodiac sign of cancer and y'all know we just have this Capricorn cancer full moon eclipse um, And also the Sun is in cancer. It's gonna be in cancer until the end 22nd, I believe of July and then Mercury is in cancer as well um, But with this cancer energy, it's not like the typical emotional energy that you see with cancers. It's more of the heart being the powerhouse and forward movement that comes from the heart, tapping into your spirituality and um, taking action from the divine, pretty much. Surrendering to um, detachment, surrendering to uh, release that needs to happen for the growth, for that forward movement to be able to manifest. Um, and it's really about using your heart as your power. Um, thank you, Nadia. I'll see you in the recap. Or I won't see you, but <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the recap. Um, but yeah, so that is what the chariot energy represents. And I feel like this card has been... In terms of energetic properties, this card has been relevant since we have that new moon in Cancer. Um, and it's just kind of stuck around. I feel like it's a mothering energy that's coming in and saying, I got you. Let's do this. We're strong. We can handle it. We release when we need to. We let it out when we need to. And then we keep going, keep pushing. We're not looking back. We're not questioning anything. We're just surrendering and moving. So... I feel like that is what she's bringing to the table. And then we have the devil card. Now, 
you may look at this card and think of the name the devil and be like dun 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 the devil but <clears throat> this is really capricorn energy coming through it's more about hard work dedication sacrifices sensuality integration shadow integration um even creation and procreation but what the devil comes in and says is you're taking all these actions and you're you're creating and you're working hard but is this serving of your highest self are you doing work that's serving of your highest self are you doing the work that you need to do to um align your higher and lower selves are you practicing balance you know are you self-sabotaging are you not making the sacrifices that you need to make are you refusing to do the work are you working too much and not giving yourself a break so the devil comes in and kind of regulates that energy it's very saturn um and i talked last week about saturn moving back to capricorn so we have this full moon eclipse and it's basically just that things are coming to a close things are finally wrapping up like i said truths are being revealed and we're just pushing on from basically the fallout of all of that um so yeah that's what i wanted to say about the chariot and the devil card um if y'all have questions about it y'all can inbox me or join my tarot class where i'll be going in depth for tarot cards regarding astrology numerology and the meaning of each card um <clears throat> so the sun and mercury are in cancer um we're definitely going to be feeling like we need to protect ourselves um and our homes a lot more than ever uh we're gonna have more of an urge to um be nurturing you know and focus on the things that we really love and we care about um it's really a quality over quantity type of energy um and we're more introspective and personal you know if it's not affecting us personally we really are not going to really want to give it any energy and it's also going to make it hard for us to be objective because we are kind of taking everything so personal and bringing everything so close to home um with the mars being in aries we are um seeking new beginnings forward movement you know aries is the first sign of the zodiac represents leadership and innovation so um it's home um in terms of mars being in aries and it, it really means um that things are getting ready to be renewed you know and rejuvenated um so we're gonna notice an energy with that emotional cancer energy we're going to notice also an energy of courage and independence we're going to be fiery and blunt um because we want to mean what we say and do what we mean um we may also be a little bit impulsive with this energy coming through um hard-headed not really listening as much as we should and being a little selfish so if you feel like you've been picking up a little of that um just try and recognize what the root of that is what it is that you feel like you're losing control of that's causing you to lash out and address it instead of lashing out at the people who love you um so yeah that is mars and aries the moon is in pisces void of course um it probably if not today it'll move into a different sign tomorrow um but you know with this energy we're going to be feeling sensitive we're going to be feeling spiritual you know our intuition is going to be heightened um especially piggybacking off of that cancer energy um we also are going to be feeling very introspective and imaginative which will heighten our emotions again with the piggybacking the energy of cancer and uh the sun and mercury um, we also may be feeling a little bit heavy in terms of emotions and not really knowing why simply because with the moon being in Pisces it's like everyone tends to take on the subconscious or the collective uh, emotions um, of the collective uh, and also the lack of direction with the moon being void of course it's 
reminding us to surrender and we tend to fight against that because we want to be in control of everything um so take the time that you need to contemplate uh the conclusions that are manifesting give yourself the space to heal um and just know that breakthroughs are definitely within reach with all these energies coming through um that is pretty much that on that with the astro tees for the week um i updated my website pricing is updated the, the new prices are on there you can book everything on there um i did add the event the tea time in tarot with shawnee um 7 11 at 7 p.m it's ten dollars i still have about four slots left um so you can visit my website to grab those tickets um also i launched the subscription for learning tarot for monthly new moon and full moon readings and also for um if you want to get like a monthly reading and massage or reading and reiki so y'all can check that out 11moons11.com the word 11 moons the number 11.com um and yeah that is pretty much that on that i guess i will go ahead and shuffle now for these questions Hello, love. How are you? How are you feeling after this full moon eclipse? I just wrapped up all the astrology stuff that I was talking about. Um, Mercury and Sun being in Cancer, Mars moving into Pisces. I'm sorry, Aries and the Moon uh, being in Pisces. Oh, thank you. Um. So yeah, I just started talking about all that and now I'm just shuffling for this facing demon spread. Not a lot of people in here tonight, so probably be a quick one. Thank you. anyone who might ask me this later this is the um deviant moon tarot deck i'm still doing a deck giveaway so if y'all watch this later and you're interested in getting a deck let me know i need to get a consensus of who's interested so i can figure out how i'm gonna do it like if i'm gonna do a drawing on a live or I'm gonna do just like a giveaway with purchase or what I'm gonna do but I have a deck or two that I want to give away
let's get some other goals. It's hard, man. It's hard facing demons, battling your demons. It's tough. It's a constant battle. <clears throat> so what is the root of our insecurities for that we have the ace of pentacles so in terms of an insecurity the ace of pentacles is going to be we're afraid of sowing like planting the seed we're afraid of taking that one step that it takes to start the new beginning we're afraid to lay down those new roots of innovation and creativity not because we're afraid of failing but because we're afraid of succeeding we're afraid of what might happen if we end up being held accountable for or in demand of these services um and situations so this is a very um positive energy normally but in terms of an insecurity it means that we're afraid to take the leap we're afraid to jump into the pool and and embrace those new seeds so that we can, you know, reap the fruits to come. Hey, everyone that's just joining. I guess I need to be late every time because y'all don't be here when I be on time. <laughs> um, what should you figure? What should you forgive yourself for? For that, we have the temperance card. So forgive yourself for needing to take the space. Hey, boo um needing to take the space to yourself to um just breathe you know just breathe and hang in the balance between what you believe what you've experienced how you feel about it all moving forward and what direction you want to go and sometimes it's okay not to really know it's okay to just kind of breathe through it and, and embrace that stillness so forgive yourself for not taking action right now forgive yourself for avoiding the thoughts for right now if that's what you need to do if that's what you need to do it's okay just just breathe allow yourself to be still and be in the space what part of yourself do you need do you feel needs protection the most for that we have the will of fortune so you feel like your fate needs protection the most you don't know which way things are going to go and you feel like you want to either make sure that you're laying down a foundation to for things to go one way or another or you're just waiting to see what the world is going to throw at you, you know? So you need to protect your fate by taking action, by being intentional. Um, how can you effectively honor yourself? Strength. In terms of honoring, your strength, honoring yourself, strength represents having compassion for yourself. Having the patience for yourself to allow yourself to go through the healing. Yes, we have to be strong. Yes, we yes we have to push through. Yes, we have to move forward. But a part of being strong is being vulnerable. A part of being strong is breaking so you can build yourself back up again. So you can honor yourself by being compassionate enough to give yourself the, the space to do what you need to do. And I feel like the message that's coming through a lot of this is it's okay not to be okay. What energies do you need to embrace in order to gain security? King of Pentacles, you need to save your money. You need to establish a strong foundation in terms of what you want to do financially and what that looks like, you know, methodically speaking. Um, you need to make sure that you're planning effectively. You need to make sure that you are uh, maintaining your, or if you don't have any, um, getting some assets in equity. Um, the King of Pentacles is all about old money, getting money that's going to stick with you and that's going to stay with you through all of the ups and downs that the financial market may face. So how can you, uh, what energies do you need to embrace to gain security? How to maintain your funds, how to secure the bag. And not only that, how to stand on your square and be grounded through all the fuckery. Um, additional considerations and guidance 
the three of pentacles collaboration of mind body and spirit collaboration of souls coming together collaboration of community and people coming together to make things work to move things forward to plant those seeds and create the form of the tree change we obviously are going through a period of change so that's that's just what it is you know and i feel like the number five 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 has been everywhere in a lot of the readings that i've been doing and five is a number of conflict strife change it's hard it's not easy change it takes a lot of detachment a lot of shedding a lot of crying and it, it feels like a parts of us are dying but it's necessary inspiration i do feel like I was talking about earlier about the chariot energy and that really brings in that breath of fresh air of inspiration, innovation, and forward movement. So I think that's a good way to cap that off. And in that, um, since we've just got people coming in, let's see how oh, I go to my So it seems like you have anxiety about it and you're stressed out about it and that is going to affect you if you don't get that under control. You need to get your thoughts together, give the nine of swords come out first and you already know when this card comes out, it's this close to manifesting physically. So you need to find a way to really ease a lot of that tension, you know, keep it together, keep compose yourself, keep on your square, keep your facts straight, keep everything in line. Um, but if you don't, then you'll go from this to this and it's not going to go well. So I think if you get your head together, it's going to be good. You're still going to have a little bit of, of a conflict to face. Um, but it's nothing that is going to like be, you know, taking away your freedom or anything like that. It's just going to be an inconvenience and a conflict that you feel like you don't really want to deal with, but it, it's not going to be, you know, the end of the world or detrimental to you um or your kids it's just going to be like i said inconvenient maybe you'll have to pay a fine or something like that but it you need to get your your uh your mind at rest about it um does that make sense t i just want to pull a couple more oracles and see oh i figured Yeah, so it's going to be the beginning of, of something that you're going to have to deal with that's going to be annoying, inconvenience. You know, you're going to have to use your intuition and your, your innovation, you know, your spiritual presence to kind of get yourself through this. Um, but it's nothing that you can't handle. It's, it's definitely going to be fine. Um, so yeah, just, just let go of your mental angst about it and, and it'll be good um does anyone else have any questions i kind of ran through everything a little fast at the beginning of the live there wasn't a lot of people on here so i'll just do a quick run through again um but y'all can watch the replay for details basically um 
This eclipse that just wrapped up is about conclusions being within reach and surrendering to the divine. Of course, love anytime. Um, surrendering to divine timing. You know, a lot of us are trying to make things happen right now and it's just not happening. And we're like, oh my God, why is it not happening? Or um, we're dragging our feet on making something happen, but we keep getting signs to move. And we're like, why does this keep happening? It's because... Right now, things are being put in your face for you to take action. So the eclipse is kind of blowing that up and bringing all that, those conclusions to a close, you know, and letting you know what action you need to take, bringing the breakthrough, bringing the clarity, bringing the guidance and the breath of fresh air. Um, and then we have the moon in Pisces, which is causing us to be imaginative, introspective, and very spiritual. Um, you know, and piggybacking off of that, the sun and uh, Mercury are in Cancer. So that's a very um, mothering, nurturing, emotional type of energy. We want to be grounded to our homes and the people that we love. Um, but at the same time, Mars is in Aries. So we're not playing when it comes to our goals and the things that we want. Um, and that's pretty much what's going on astrologically speaking this week. If you want details, like I said, y'all can go back and watch the replay. Again, I have updated all of my pricing on my website, which is 11moons11.com. I will be adding new products to the website on Sunday. Um, so y'all can look out for that. And please, I have four open, four more open spots for uh, Tea Time and Tarot Talk with Shawnee um 7 11 at 7 p.m so the tickets are ten dollars just go on my website go to events and you can grab your tickets there um if you want to learn tarot go on my website look up pricing plans you'll see a subscription there um for that if you want to be on a monthly subscription to get a new moon and full moon reading every month you can now subscribe to do that. And you can also subscribe to get a monthly reading and Reiki or reading and massage if you are local. Um, so y'all can visit my website for all that. And then all my other readings are also on my website. Yes, pricing has changed. So if you have visited my website previously and you go now and you're like, what happened? Pricing went up. I had to increase pricing, y'all. I just had to. I've been doing a lot of work, you know, within me and just learning a lot for y'all and it shows in my work and so I feel like I should be compensated for it um but yeah that's pretty much all I have thank you all so much so much for joining me um and I hope that this eclipse brought you all as much release as it brought me I definitely was able to let go of some things that I've been avoiding letting go of um and I'm very happy about that and yeah it, it's looking good i know i sound tired and i'm like all rushed kind of tonight but really i'm not because i just didn't have a lot to come on here and say um before i get out of here do y'all have any tarot questions that y'all need me to pull on let me know and i will do that um but yeah that's that's it oh i did want to touch on this and since there's not a lot of people on here i might do another live and talk about this but <clears throat> i just wanted to talk to y'all about twin flames and soulmates like what do y'all think about twin flames and soulmates do y'all feel like it's a thing that exists or do you think it's just like some woo, -woo thing that people talk about but it doesn't really exist like how do y'all feel about it and the reason why i ask about it is because as a diviner and spiritual advisor a lot of people do come to me and ask me these certain questions about soulmates and twin flames. And since my spiritual background started in astrology, I am not going to say I don't believe in it. But what I will say is just because you have soul ties with someone or just because someone is your soulmate, that does not mean that you are supposed to be with them. You know, it just means that you all are connected, you know. I feel like me and my best friend are soulmates because we met in middle school. We we were very different. You know, I was such a tomboy and she was so girly. We really didn't have a lot in common, but we've always just kind of clicked. And 
it's just been like that for all these years we've been friends you know i feel like she's my soulmate i feel like my mom is is one of my soulmates because the way the the closeness that me and my mom have is just crazy in the way that i'm just so intuitively connected to her you know and there's there's other people but my point is i just don't think that there's one person that's your soulmate and that's who you're supposed to be with and so when, when people come to me and ask me that and when i tell y'all I don't really believe in that. That is what I mean because I just feel like that's an unrealistic concept. Um, what did you say? Sin soulmates doesn't have to be a relationship as a couple. Absolutely, I one hundred percent agree with that. Um, and then when it comes to twin flames, I feel like a twin flame is going to be someone that you're actually with in a couple. But most of the time, your those relationships are not forever relationships. You're meant to get into that relationship to learn some shit about yourself, to really grow and experience the devotion and dedication that it takes to really give of yourself and love someone and see someone as a complete reflection of you, no matter what they do. So that's what twin flame situations are and they're, they're not easy to stay in. Some of those situations are very abusive. Some of those situations are very um, draining you know and so it's not something that you if you're not if you and the other person are not spiritually inclined or evolved to a certain point it's just not going to work because it's it's going to be a toxic situation and so i just i don't know that's just my spiel on that y'all can tell me how y'all feel in the comments if you watch this back please comment and tell me what you think, how you feel about soulmates and twin flames, because I'm just curious. I'm curious to know because I just, I get this all the time and I feel like I, I say this, but people think I'm just crazy, but I'm not, I'm telling y'all, I've studied this. <laughs> like, it's good time to start a business. So astrologically speaking, the moon is bored, of course, the uh, Saturn and Jupiter are in retrograde, Mercury is in retrograde, so kind of in that aspect it's not a good time to really start something new however because we're being pushed into a point where things are being removed from us so that new things can flow in if you've already been planting the seeds to start something new i would say take the action that you need to take to bring things to balance and kind of get the ball rolling um i would avoid against or advise against rather uh signing any contracts or um deciding on any like buildings like actual physical office spaces but i don't see a reason why you shouldn't plant the seeds seems like you would be supported in the energy three of wands the justice page of cups i don't see why not just just be slow about it i mean not slow but you know don't commit to anything too uh long term um that was the same question all right does anyone else have any questions um if not i'm gonna get on out of here you're welcome love anytime 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 Thank you, Sin I mean, for your contribution. I really appreciate you. Um, and just for joining, you know, and blessing us with your energy. Um, thank you, everyone, for coming in the room. <laughs> and I shall see you all next Wednesday. Good night.